Hey guys, it's Heather from Kelva of a Plan, and today I'm flipping through all of the planners that I used in March. I'm super excited to review the month with you guys and talk about my planners and how they worked for me. So we will start with my mini planner. I have it currently inside of a traveler's notebook from Mommy Lay. I did have it inside of a traveler's notebook from Planners Anonymous, but then I got this one at the Chicago Planner Conference and I loved the florals. So I just cut out the gold strings that were here for the traveler's notebook and then I slid the back cover into the back cover and it fits perfectly. So I have no idea what size it is. I don't know anything about traveler's notebooks, but I really like it. <laughs> So February in my mini planner, I don't ever use the monthly view in my mini planner. I don't even pretend to use it. So it's blank. Um, I really loved this pink and blurple spread. It was super cute. This week I actually Franken planned and taped in pages and I made it match um, or at least coordinate with my the spread that Matthew did in my classic. I also coordinated this one with my classic spread. I love these florals from the new fun floral sticker book. Really pretty. I loved that spread as well. And then this spread also coordinated with my classic. I guess I did a lot of coordinating this month. And these are stickers from the new Simply Lovely. And I loved how that turned out. And then I used this little half sheet um, to meal plan and to make my grocery list on the back. And that was February. February is a short month, so not as many spreads, I suppose. But I really loved how all of them turned out. And I use this planner as my on-the-go planner. It keeps me um, kind of on task when I'm out and about. So I really loved that planner this month, okay? Next, we have my Franken planner. This is several planners and one that we're going to flip through today. We're going to start with my catch-all planner, but I'm not going to show you guys the monthly spread because I use the monthly spread spread for budgeting and so it's a little more personal and I don't like to share it after the pin but um, this is my catch-all planner so this is what I refer to pretty much every day on what needs to get done each day both when I'm at home and when I'm out and about I don't take this planner when I'm out and about but if I'm at home and I it will remind me that I need to leave the house to do things um, when it like it will remind me that I need to leave. And so this was actually the spread that Matthew did for Valentine's Do Planners. That's why it doesn't really look like something I would do because I didn't do it. But it's still cute. He did a good job and it was fun to fill out. And then this spread, I loved this spread. It was one of my favorites. It coordinated with my mini and I just love the stripes and the florals and the colors. One of my favorites and all the gold foil. And I love this little... Um, journaling card. I love how it flips out and provides more space to write in. I loved this spread. And then the last spread for February was made with stickers from the new Simply Lovely book. I love it. You'll notice that I did a lot of Franken planning this month. Um, so these pages were part of Squad Girls, which is technically the base of my planner. These were also from Squad Girls. This, These were pages taped in from a different planner. And then these were also pages taped in from a different planner. And that's why the spreads look different every week. And I used to be the kind of person who wanted um, every week to be the same. But this year I've really enjoyed kind of mixing it up in my weekly spreads. So this was actually from an undated faith planner from a long time ago. And then I just popped it in here. I love this spread. I think it's beautiful. So that was February in that planner. Now we're going to flip to February in my social media planner. I don't really use the monthly spread for anything either. I marked the Chicago Planner Conference and then um, Abby's birthday. I put all the squad members birthdays on the monthly spreads, but that's pretty much it. I, I use this is a teacher layout and normally the dates are over here, but I cover up the dates and then I put the dates on the top and it works so well for me. I love, I love, love, love this layout. I've been using it since May and I will probably, hopefully always use it. I say hopefully because we haven't seen the new teacher planners yet, but I'm hoping there will be one that I can flip the layout on because I just, I, it works so well for me. So I use it to do YouTube videos, my filming schedule, my Instagram posts, squads and other teams that I'm a part of and then other things that I need to get done. 
Um, and so this was a really fun, I used these journaling stickers. And so then I used the journaling stickers again this week, but this week I didn't add any color to it. This was the week that I was traveling to, Sh no, it's not. It's the week before Chicago. This is the week I went to Chicago. I don't really know what happened this week, but you can see I didn't fill in everything. I didn't check off everything. And that happens sometimes, but for the most part, this part of my planner is like a lifesaver and I wouldn't be able to function without it. It really helps me to plan out my video and my posts and it just really helps me to keep up with my caliber plan stuff. So this was the week that I went to the Chicago Planner Conference. So I did like a plannery theme and it was super cute. And then this one, again, you can see um, I used it a lot to plan out my videos and my Instagram posts, but I didn't really have anything going on for squad and other teams down here. So it was pretty blank. And this is my social media tab. You'll notice I have tabs at the top to flip us to the right place. So I can actually, I should actually take that off and place it um, on this week in my social media planner. You're getting a sneak peek into March. Um, because that will help me to flip to the exact week. So that is, that was February in my social media planner. So now we're gonna flip to February in my epiphany planner this is the planner that i use for business so on the monthly spread i some months i try to track our sales every single day but this month i really just tracked our releases and our sample releases for my boutique and then here you can see i have some goals for us i have important check it off things these are habit trackers that i didn't end up using except for the sales goal top priorities here's a reflection um for the month, I like to reflect on how things went. And here, I also reflected on um, how things went. This is each day has a checklist. And I did really good at the beginning of the month of using this. But then you can see kind of as the month goes on, I didn't use it every single day. But that's also why this works so well for me. Um, for business, this layout, because I don't have to use it every single day. If I don't have a lot of things to check off on a day, it's okay if I don't fill it out. But on days that I do have a lot of things going on, then it's easy for me to fill out. So I really like this layout um, for my business, okay? So now we're gonna flip to February in my Faith Planner. And I don't use the monthly view anymore. I actually taped it together. Um, this was the first week of February. You could see I didn't actually do my studies this week. And the reason is I lost this book. I'm really sad. I didn't get to finish the book. I had it and then I lost it. I don't know where it went. I'm still looking for it. As soon as I find it, I will probably read the last four chapters and fill these pages in. But that's why this week is kind of blank. And then we have our sermon notes. Normally this is a different page that has things where you can like track your prayers and your verses. But I actually... Our, and technically, this is the only spot that's for sermon notes. And then this says something else here. I don't even remember what it normally says. But I I always take two pages of notes on Sundays. And so I tape this in over the other page. And I cover this up. And then I just use both pages for sermon notes. So, And then it goes to our next week. Again, up here is where I'm writing my verse of the day. And then I uh, journal my reading for each day down in those boxes. Normally this is a vertical planner. I don't know if you can tell this is normally a vertical planner, but that wasn't enough space for me. I tried to use it that way in January and it just wasn't enough space. So now I've just kind of rearranged the boxes to make them work for me and it's really worked really well. This week I, there are no sermon notes because we were in Chicago and so we didn't go to church this Sunday, but I went ahead and dated it and our church does put the videos online. And so I need to go back and watch the sermon that I miss and fill in these notes. Maybe I'll do that one day this week, um, but that's why that's actually blank. <laughs> then this is the next week. I loved how this turned out with the colors and the hexagon. These aren't even hexagons because there's more sides, but maybe octagons, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, octagons. Um, but I really loved the colors and I loved, love, love how this spread turned out. And then we have our sermon notes from the next week. I love that in this planner, the sermon notes are with the week that you took them. That's one of my favorite things about this planner. And then last week, these are my faith journaling and the sermon notes from Sunday. 
Okay, and so that is February. And then I have my home planner in the back, which I didn't actually use in February because I didn't get it until the end of February. So I'll start using this in March. And so now what I will do once this video is over, I will take out all of the Februarys and I will put them back on their original planner. And I'll make sure that I have March and April in this planner for everything else so we can keep going. So that's kind of what I'm doing with this planner. I love, love, love having it all on one. And I love the dividers. I just love this planner. It's my favorite okay and then next we have my um memory planner and i'm super excited to share this with you guys i haven't been using the currently page i know i need to but i haven't i also don't use the monthly in this so you can see that i taped the pages together so that the first week is just attached to the divider and i love this spread these are some florals from the new fun floral sticker book which is like my favorite sticker book ever this week I went down to Austin to see my nephews and to see Marielle and so I have a lot of flip ups there's some flip ups there there's some flip ups there and it's really a fun spread okay and then this is Valentine's week slash the week that we went to Chicago so I have some cute pictures of some of my nieces and nephews. This is a picture from our Valentine's Day day and the gifts that Matthew gave me. And then this is us in Chicago. I took a lot of pictures in Chicago. So these are actually a lot of different flip ups with lots of different photos. Okay, that was a super fun week. And then I journaled about my trip to Chicago. So lay this down this is the next week again I use the simply lovely stickers this is my um, ticket to the wandering planners expo that I went to on Saturday pictures of one of my nephews and one of my nieces national margarita day um, Maddie she's just so cute it was a good week so I just love being able to flip through this and see what our week was like this week I decided to use black and white photos I hadn't done that in a while I really liked how it turned out and I really loved these journaling cards that provide just extra space um, to journal so I thought that was really cute so that is my memory planner for the month of February so those are my planners for the month for the month of February 2019 how I use them what they turned out like and yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.